Hello, hello, and welcome to Community TV with Adair. This is TV for you by TV from me, where I bring you people and organizations and businesses who are doing amazing things to help those in the communities around them. Now, I've just got to turn my phone off because it just went ping and it's not supposed to do that stuff. <laughs> my apologies. I normally have it on silent, but I've had it. Uh, um, here we go. Now it won't bother us. So today, a community TV with a day. Where was I? Right, I'm right here. Uh, we uh, we do bring you pay, uh, yoga, we uh, physical fitness, gardening, and anything you're looking for that's going to improve your life. We have it here. Today we are continuing the facilitation through uh, of the Eckham World Peace Festival through MyTimeTV.live and the show with no name. Uh, we are actually combining the show with no name and Community TV with Adair today to bring you the day seven, I believe, of the Eckham World Peace Festival. And I do hope, I've been saying it for all these, for a week, or nearly a week, and I'm going to, Eckham, Eckham, I'm going to bring Jane in. Are you ready, Jane? And is she... <laughs> And I'll just unmute you. And hello, Jane from Hi, Jane. Hi, uh, from Mary Jane Coaching. And uh, Jane is hosting for us here. We're facilitating it, and Jane is hosting the Eckham World Peace Festival, which is going from the well started on the twelfth of September and runs through to the twenty first or the twenty second. But we'll, more about that in a moment. Just like to say, if you are here live with us, welcome. And we would love, love, love for you to make sure everybody gets an opportunity to see this because we really do want as many people as possible to be peace rather than saying that we need peace. So this is part. Of, this is a really important program and uh, or festival. And I'm just really stoked that we can be part of it. So, Jay, just share with us a little bit before you go into the the whole the meditation. For those of you who have been uh, with us for this for the last week or so, um, we've uh, Jane has been coming in. We do a quick introduction, and Jane will do a 15 minute meditation for the theme of that particular day. But just share with us a little bit of a how you got into the world peace festival and how and connected with I think is the O and O Academy, isn't it? So yes. Thanks, Adair. So I became <clears throat> excuse me, involved with the O and O Academy, oh, I don't know, over probably ten years ago now. It used to be called Oneness. And uh, I guess I've been um on the personal growth, spiritual growth path for a long time. But when I came upon it, I felt like I'd come along across something really special. So I go there twice a year and do programs there. And I absolutely love it. It's just made an enormous difference in my life and, and really in how I my relationship with myself as much as anything. And I've seen improvements in all areas of my life. And they, this is the second World Peace Festival that they've had. And the, the Academy, O and O Academy was, tra was founded to create a shift in human consciousness. And the Peace Festival is, um, has been, it's the second one, as I said, and it's just in response to the need of the times, I think. I think we're living in a world right now that is crying out for peace. There is so mm -hmm. much chaos and conflict and violence excuse me, in the world. And I think a, a real driving force for me is that I have grandchildren, mm. children and grandchildren, and it really worries me, the state of the world. And I, I feel that I have a responsibility to do as much as I can to, you know, create harmony, first of all and foremost within myself, and, and then to, you know, spread this message. I love the fact that, you know, you were saying it's a... Um, uh, be the peace and when when I first had a look at the video on who are the founders now I don't re recall the name so who and Peter G. they're a married couple in India and mm -hmm. and when I looked at the video on their website and they said be the peace that you'd like to see in the world it really had an impact on me and what I love about that is that we all can do 
this. It's not hard. It's a choice that we can make and it's a choice that we can make every second of every day to be the peace that we want to see. And and then I think I think it's sort of like catchy. <laughs> you know, you mm. can you can you can spread the spread the peace and and uh, just by being it. So I think it's uh, it just really really resonated with me when when I heard him say that. And I think we're in a time now more than ever before where we can choose whether we whether we spread what what type of energy or vibe or message that we spread. Uh, it really does. Um, we because we we've, we've got this platforms like Facebook, like social media, uh, YouTube, and you know like uh, other other social media platforms that we can use to really get the word out there and do things like this to where we really not had this before. So even as recently as three or four years ago, we wouldn't have been able to for both of us to come on and do this like we're doing now and this capacity is only going to increase for us to be able to do this and to be able to get this sort of message out. And mm -hmm. Alice is here. Hello, Alice. Welcome. Thank you for joining us. And anybody else who has popped in, if you're here live or for the replay, please do remember this is a very, very important cause that we're supporting and we would love to have your support to support us as well and to support the movement. So, Jane, a bit about yourself. So you said that you had been uh, involved with the o, o Academy and you've been going to India a couple of times a year. Now, I actually didn't know that. I, <laughs> I do know that you said, you know, when I've spoken to you off and on, you'll go, oh, yes, I'm just back from India. And it's like, oh, she's always over there. But for, for those particular programs, um, and what so what what sort of things do they do there and also what attracted you to that you said you had grandchildren but there um was there how did you find them or did they find you because this stuff happens magically sometimes yeah doesn't it? that's right <laughs> to be honest it's a long story i'll cut it very short but i had a lot of childhood baggage i had a lot of resentment mm -hmm. from my childhood and it was really ruling my life and that's the problem for, for all of us that mm -hmm. it's our world child that's playing out unconsciously in our relationships and in our work environment and in our social interactions in our friendships and creating a lot of chaos and a lot of havoc and I knew I had a lot of baggage and I'd be, I had been working on myself for a long time but when I met some people from um, the Ono Academy I just felt like I'd come home and um, it, it, ECOM is actually a um, is there in India. It's this enormous structure like a temple that's been built for the transformation of humanity. And it's actually built on a golden spiral um, sacred geometry so that it has this effect that when you go there, it actually, it's like um, Krishnaji gave the example of geese flying towards the Himalayas. There's Once they reach a certain altitude, there's this golden spiral and he gave the equation for it where they're actually lifted up and carried on the current of air at like 18,000 mm -hmm. feet towards the Himalayas without wow. having to do anything. And he wow. gives that example, the same equation that is used in for the for the geese to see what they used to build Ekam. So it's an enormous structure of incredible power and transformation so when i go there i feel like i'm offloading so much baggage you know so mm. much hurts that's not only mine but generational and and i really feel that it's having a positive influence on future generations also mm. so you know it's a and i'm sure that my you know the people that know me would say that they i know they do they see an, an enormous difference in me so it is very much, they focus very much on relationships, family relationships, relationship with your parents. Um, actually, I've got a great book out at the moment called The Sacred Secrets, Four Sacred mm -hmm. Secrets, which explains the fundamental teachings. It's absolutely brilliant. I'll, I'll, I'll give you a copy if you are here, Adele. Yeah. I'll give you a copy. I'll be back, I'll be back in a month. Is there a place Mm -hmm. uh, is it on their website? We could buy it off their website. You can buy it off any of the online or in any. Okay. Of the, the so we'll, we'll, get a, we'll get a link for people, and we'll make sure that that's included with the um, with the the details as well, because I think that's important to 
to get that out as, and get the resources out there as well as much as possible. So, mm. yes. Yeah. Thank you. So, yeah. Go on. I was going to say it's so it's hard to give an answer in such a short time, but yeah. I have found that, you know, looking at the transformation in my own life and in my friends' lives and also how that flows into our families, what, mm. what a tremendous blessing it is to be a part of, of this. Oh, no. no I and mm. I would have to say that I'm I'm so I, I feel blessed and honoured that you know we're we're able to to be part of it and tiny 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 little part of it that we are but it's a matter of it's a, it it may have an impact for one or more people which is you know makes it all worthwhile so I think that's yeah it is an honour for us to be part of this and also to learn more about the O and O Academy and I love the geese story because that's you know there's something else I learned and I just think that it's fascinating how how this stuff can be so so powerful and it's it's all it all goes back to nature really doesn't it? Okay. <laughs> yes. Funny that. So Jane. Today we are uh, we, we, the royal we, that being you, <laughs> uh, doing the meditation, the peace meditation for um, uh, the end of cruelty to animals, I believe. Yeah, ending of violence and cruelty towards animals. And I'll leave you with it. I will pop back in after we've uh, after you've finished the meditation. And I don't know. I haven't normally done that, but we will do that today. Uh, because it's part of community TV with the dare as well. So I'll drop myself out and then you know, over to you. <laughs> Thanks very much, Adair. Right. So Soul Think is a meditation that is has five steps and each step we do eight times and we count those steps on our fingers eight times. And the purpose of each step is just to bring calmness to our body. It calms our nervous system and um, quietens the the mind chatter and helps us to be to move into a more expansive state of consciousness and it's a wonderful meditation that you can use any time for manifesting you know your heartfelt intentions so we've been today we're going to use it for the ending of violence against animals and um, so we'll get started and I've got a bit of a scratchy throat so excuse me if I'm coughing a bit so but let's close our eyes now if it's safe to do so of course if you're driving a car please don't close your eyes please keep driving and listen to this later let's close our eyes and bring our awareness to our heart center and I just wanted to add that for every daily intent of the peace festival uh, there's a personal blessing that the anyone who participates will receive a great personal blessing also. So in the first step, bringing your awareness to your breath. As you inhale and exhale deeply, fully present with fully full present awareness to that in and out breath. We call it conscious breathing and counting on your fingers eight times.
and moving on to the next phase now where we inhale deeply and on the out breath make a humming sound like a bee strongly enough to feel the vibration through your head and counting once again on your fingers eight times mm. And moving on to the next phase now, where we inhale and exhale deeply, whilst bringing awareness to that minute point where the inhalation ends and the exhalation begins. Counting on your fingers eight times.
And when you have finished that, moving on to the next phase where you internally chant AHUM, A-H-U-M, meaning I am limitless consciousness. Once again, counting on your fingers eight times. And when you have finished, with your index finger touching the tip of your thumb and your palms facing skyward on your thighs, imagine that your body and everything around you is dissolving into the light, into that unlimited field of consciousness, that ocean of unlimited possibilities and golden liquid light. Feel yourself melting away and everything around you just melting away. Or imagine it. and bringing into your awareness the intention that all violence and cruelty against animal is ceased, that all animals are treated with loving kindness, with care and respect, that we honour animals, appreciate them, and care for them with kindness, and that we are living in a world where all animals are respected and appreciated. Feel, see or imagine as if this is happening right now, feeling a total sense of peace and joy. And when you are ready, you can take a deep breath and open your eyes. Thanks so much for joining us, everyone. We have a, um, a group gathering live here in Adelaide on this Sunday, the 22nd of September at 4 o'clock. 
uh, where we will be coming together and collectively meditating with probably the world with the world's largest peace meditation with people from millions of people from all around the world and we will connect with ecam in india as well as we um all come together in the spirit of peace so please if you're in adelaide please please come along private That's message beautiful. yeah reach out thanks so Glandor, Glandor community yeah. center four o'clock Thank you, Jane. That was amazing. Really, really appreciate you for coming in and doing this daily and sharing this with us, this very important message. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Adair. Amazing. So we're back on again tomorrow at, uh, I think we're at 9.30 tomorrow. Let me just have a look. So if you would like to join us for day nine we are on at 9 30. we have it's been a little bit flexible because we've made a commitment to do doing this every day and i really do appreciate your flexibility jane because we've had to change it a few times um, but we have got there every day so 9 30 okay. tomorrow the show with no name will be the day nine of the ecam ecam okay i'll say ecam world peace festival it's the intent is the same so thank yeah. you everybody for joining us today yeah. fully encourage you to if you're watching this for the replay and uh, she please remember to make as many you know, share this with as many people as possible because we'd love to get the word out there and i think each year it's going to just grow bigger and bigger so it's been our pleasure to be involved uh, this year and looking forward to continue involved continued involvement so this is Community TV with Adair, a special edition, and we are syndicated out to over 50 channels of TV On Demand through the Binge Network syndication program, and we look forward to seeing you again for Community TV with Adair next Wednesday at 2 o'clock Australian Central Standard Time. Bye for now. Bye for now.